Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving rate problems. This is standard 7.4D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a bookstore, offers mystery bags that each contain 12 books. Quantity of each type of book was the same in each mystery bag, so it looks like they're kind of assorted. A shopper bought three mystery bags and found that six of the books were spy novels. So we need to make a prediction about spy novels in the future. Hmm. You know what, I think this is going to work best if we visualize this. So I'm going to make mystery bag here. All right, so let's do this. All right, so here's a mystery bag. And then these circles are going to represent our 12 bucks. All right, so there's one mystery bag. And let's just make a second mystery bag right here. It's going to help us visually because we're going to have to figure out how many spy novels are in each of these mystery bags? We know that there are six total. And we know that there are the same number of each type of novel in each bag. So it's not like each of uh, the, the spy novels can't all be bunched into one mystery bag and then not in the other. They need to be split evenly. So if I've got six books that are spy novels and I've got three different bags here, it makes sense if, I'm just going to kind of shade these in, if there's two spy novels per bag. So there we go. I've got my three mystery bags. I'll just draw a little line here, wavy line to kind of visually separate them. All right, so I've got a total of 36 books. And six of them are going to be spy novels because I've got three sets of 12. All right, so now that we know that ratio, we can use this information to make a prediction. Okay, so there will be four more spy novels in eight bags than in six bags. Well, let me see. Basically, I drew all that, and I need to know there's two in a bag. Okay, because I'm looking at spy novels, so two spy novels per bag. Novels per bag. Okay, so in eight bags, uh, if there's two per bag, that's going to be 16. Six bags, two per bag, that's going to equal 12. So there will be four more spy novels in eight bags than six bags. Is 16 four more than 12? Yeah, looks pretty good. There will be two more spy novels in six bags. Well, six bags is going to be 12. And eight bags, or four bags is going to be eight. Now that's a difference of four, not a difference of two. Let me see, there will be one more. Well, I can tell you that's going to be wrong. We, we can go ahead and work it out, but, you know, there's sets of two here. So an odd number is not going to work, but in nine bags, I have a total of 18 spy novels. And in eight bags, I've got a total of 16 spy novels. So a difference of two, not a difference of one. And let's see, six more spy novels in 10 bags. 10 bags has got 20. Eight bags. That's got 16. There's two each. So that's a difference of two. Oh, close. That's a difference of four, not six. So each of those answers, G, H, and J, are close, but not quite what we need. Our answer here is going to be F. In eight bags, there's 16. In six bags, there's 12. So that means there's four more. And our answer is F.